Sir, we are in the cockpit or the mock-up cockpit of the uh, new type, new generation plane F-35. What are the peculiarities for the pilots who are entering the training syllabus for the entering the F-35 cockpit? Um, I think not so many peculiarities. I think it's a carryover from uh, uh, training systems that we've had developed in, in the services along the way. One thing that uh, a new pilot does need to uh, accommodate is an increase in mission systems. We're now asking a single pilot to manage air-to-air, -air, air to ground uh, electronic attack, some limited command and control functions, some limited uh, ISR functions. And so the syllabus has been developed based on uh, requirements that were developed long when the F-35 came along to uh, really codify those uh, training elements and put them into use with the F-35. So new philosophy, it means the men who is able and uh, omnipotent because of the machinery of the system which is uh, possible to assist him and uh, much. I think, I think the men and women that fly this aircraft worldwide are going to have uh, tools at their disposal that we have not seen in past aircraft or past weapon systems. Um, the F-35 is such a generational leap, whether it's training or actual tactical implementation. It is a, a leap above. So yes, they will have tools at their disposal that uh, are far and above anything that we've seen in the past. You mean women? Uh, of course, because the women are also the f trainee and also the future Absolutely. fighter pilots of that plane. Absolutely. Uh, how many uh, are you going to train in, uh, in f as a, as a future combat pilots of, of that plane? Sure. Well, um, you know, as a Lockheed Martin employee, I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even fathom to guess uh, what the mil the militaries of the world are going to uh, say. I know there are current. Uh, men and women flying the F-35, and we, we in the United States have had women integrated in our military, including piloting, for a number of years. F-35 is usually connected to the well, ground attack uh, fighter, but it's absolutely multi-role. Is that so? Absolutely. It is a, a multi-role fighter that combines air-to-air, air-to-ground, the electronic attack capacity, and it does it in almost an instantaneous manner. In legacy platforms, there were uh, changes in the mode of the airplane. Either you were flying in a navigation mode, you may be flying in an air-to-air -air mode, you may be flying in an air-to-ground mode. The F-35 can operate across those modes simultaneously. And the last uh, question, uh, this is not a new machine. This is the machine which is right now entering the air forces all over the world. What about uh, what about some uh, experiences, the first experiences you gained with the, uh, those uh, future pilots? Well, I think uh, we have seen a very, very, very happy uh, group of pilots, maintainers and governments of the world that have acquired the F-35. They are very happy with the selection that they've made and I, looking to the future of how they're going to implement that, I think they're going to be very happy, especially with the integration. The F-35, based on uh, development from legacy platforms and the ability to expand capabilities in the future, give the militaries of the, of the world the ability to for growth. And uh, the last of the last. Uh, the, right now we are entering the phase of the, let's say, familiarizing with the uh, deck landing for the naval machines. How that is uh, conducted right now? How do you see that, that phase? Absolutely. So uh, as one, part of the testing of this aircraft, uh, our test pilots go out quite regularly, as well as some of our operational test pilots. They go out quite regularly and do sea service trials and some of the sea tests where they take the aircraft in a safe manner. They um, land it aboard the ship. They take the catapult shots. They address any issues that may be ongoing or maybe small issues and those are 
are uh, being worked through as we speak. This aircraft, though, from a pilot perspective, is a, a relatively uh, mechanically easy plane to fly. Creature comforts were built in, including approach power uh, compensator, uh, some of the flight control systems that are out there to help us land aboard the ship quite readily, make us a little more efficient because that's always the concern when we operate at sea. So if, uh, if we have a average Polish F-16 pilot, would it be easy for him to familiarize with the cockpit, with, the, uh, with that type of plane? I think with the quality uh, of, of the pilots you have in Poland, it would be very easy very easy to train uh, pilots in Poland on the F-35 or pilots in the United States from Poland on the F-35. It would be a very, very, very easy transition. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, sir.